Hi, I'm Stuart Lynch. This is the third of six parts in a series covering version control using Xcode and Git. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Git branches and the process of checking out and merging branches. We'll also take a look at how to deal with conflicts and how to delete a branch. All of this done within Xcode. If this is something you want to learn, then keep watching. Let's assume that we have uploaded our finished app to the App Store, and we now want to add some new features or try something different out in our app. What we don't want to do is mess with this version that is in the App Store, because we may need to do a quick fix if there is a bug, and re-upload a new version based on that current version. This is an ideal reason to create a new branch. In fact, you should probably never work on the version that's in the App Store, and it should be kept pristine as the master branch. If you want to make any changes, you should branch off to another version. So for example, let's say we're not happy with this modal view. And since we already have a navigation view set up, why don't we take a look at what it would look like if instead of a modal view, we were to push the modal view file onto a navigation stack. So to start out, click on the source control navigator, then right click on master and choose branch from master and give it the name development. This creates what is essentially a duplicate copy of your project. It isn't really because Git is much more efficient, and in the background it's keeping track of any changes, but for all intents and purposes you can consider it a copy. Notice that it not only creates the branch, but also checks it out so any changes you'll be making now will be on the development branch. It's marked as the current branch. So back in Content View, making the change is relatively easy in Swift UI. We'll first delete this button view and the sheet modifier and replace it with a navigation link. This is like a button or hypertext. A navigation link requires a destination view, which is our modal view, and in our case some text for the link that will say go next. We also don't need this is presented variable so we can remove it. Moving on to the modal view I'm going to embed this text in a V stack. Don't ask me why, I recorded this video before adding the audio so I'll never use the fact that it's inside a VStack, but that doesn't matter as far as version control goes, and it will make no difference to the display on the canvas because there's only one item in the VStack. I am, however, going to add the navigation bar title and make it display mode in line, which means a small navigation bar, not large title. It's interesting to note we don't have to embed our view in a navigation view, as we did previously for content view. That's because the view is being pushed onto a navigation stack and it will get this navigation bar by default, but also will get a back button for free. We're just adding in the title. And finally, I'm going to change the text to second view. I'm going to return to the content view now and run it. Yes, indeed, we have a navigation stack. Let's commit those changes to the development branch. Now while we're here, let's prove to ourselves that we still have our old master version. I can right click on the master and choose checkout and return to our content view. Notice that old modal stuff is still there and running the app in the canvas shows the modal view. I'm convinced that this change to a navigation stack is far superior to the modal presentation, so I want to upload it to the App Store. I'll use my development branch to do that, and once it's approved and ready for sale, I should move it to master and leave it. Any new features will be made on the development branch. The process is called merging. The key is to make sure that the target, the branch you want to merge the changes into, is current. And in our case, that's the master branch. So right-click on Development and choose Merge Development into Master. Now both Development and Master are identical. Let's say now that your app is in the App Store and you realize that you forgot to make the navigation link red. I'm going to make that change in the Content view in the Master branch. And I'm going to commit this change. Now Master and Development are out of sync. What you should do probably is merge this change with development right away, so let's do that. 
Let's check out development. So it, now it's our current target. Then right click on master and merge it with development. Now they're in sync. Let's check out the master once more and return to content view. This time I'm going to make changes in both branches and show you how you can deal with conflicts. I'm going to change the color to green and commit the change to the master branch. Now I'm going to check out development, which is now out of sync. And change the color here to purple and commit. Do you see the problem? Our master branch has a green navigation link and our development branch has a purple one. How am I going to resolve this conflict? Let's go back to the source control navigator and check out the master branch so that it's now current. Let's see what happens if I want to merge the development branch into our master. We get our conflict resolution screen with the master on the left and our development branch on the right. There is a question mark in the gutter indicating that we have a conflict. There could have been more, but luckily we only have one. For each and every conflict, you tap on the down arrow and choose your option. The first two are pretty obvious. You either choose the left or the right. The next two options allow you to choose whether or not you want to first apply the left or right before applying the other one. Now remember, and this is important, if you mess up, you can just cancel. Or even if you choose to merge and you didn't want to, the current branch that you're on had been committed prior to the merge, so you can always choose to discard all changes as we did in the previous video. In this case, though, we'll just choose right side. You can have multiple branches. Perhaps you just want to experiment with a new feature. If that doesn't work out for you, no harm done. You can always delete a branch. So let's delete this development branch right now. So here we are back in our content view in our master branch. I'm going to embed the navigation link in the VStack and add a text view above the text. And this text is going to say, this is the content view. So let's commit. But wait, I told you earlier, never make modifications to your master branch if it's in the App Store. Let's assume that it is, and we've already deleted our development branch. So what to do? We want this to be in a development branch. So let's cancel out of our commit and go immediately to the source control navigator and right click on the master branch. Right now I can choose branch from master with these uncommitted changes in my content view. I'll call it development again. This brings my changes along, so I should be sure now to make my commit. But this time I'm committing not to the master, but to the development branch. If I switch back to master, I can see that those changes aren't there. Xcode saved the day. I have my pristine master branch and my altered development branch. In the next video, we'll take a look at creating a GitHub account and we'll push our local Git repository up to the remote hosted on GitHub. I hope you've enjoyed this video and have learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That will encourage me to keep on creating more like this in an effort to help new and existing iOS developers hone their skills and move on to the next level. I am most active on Twitter, so be sure to follow me there and get all the latest news of what I'm up to.